<laughs> You're so cute. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas day six. I tried to learn sign language because five, obviously, I can do one through five like that. But I think this is six in sign language. It's said to connect your pinky and your thumb and that like, it could be mistaken for a W, but people should know what you mean if the context is there. So um, it snowed last night. Um, it's already melted a bunch. But look at that. Oh, the window's already fogging up. All right, on the agenda for today is to definitely make that buffalo chickpea dip. Um, my, mom, my mom is going to come over tonight, and we're going to get rid of this like I was going to do the other day and put up the tree. Um, and then I also want to take a couple pictures for Instagram because I need some content, and I haven't posted in like three days. So I think I'm going to make some food first and then maybe do my makeup. All right, so my friend Lala is actually gonna be coming over in like an hour and a half. But first, while I still have these beautiful rainbows over here, I'm gonna try and take some pictures. I grabbed the first hand pipe that I ever bought myself. I bought this, oh my gosh, at least seven years ago. I specifically remember that I was not 21 yet. So about seven years ago, I remember buying it after um, college class with one of my old college friends. And then I also brought out the little G-Pen Connects because I'm going to try and take a cute clip using the giraffe rig with it for my Instagram. Um, and I kind of, I think I'm going to use my phone to take the pictures. So maybe I can set the camera up and show you guys kind of how I take my Instagram pictures because everyone's always asking me about that. But it's really hard to show because a lot of the times I'm taking pictures with my camera that I'm recording on right now. And I can connect this camera to my phone and use the phone as like a Bluetooth um, kind of clicker. And I can even see like the viewfinder on my phone, like what I'm seeing on the camera and stuff. So usually I'm using all of my resources to do that. But I figured today, since the lighting's really good, I'll take some iPhone pictures and then you guys can see okay where do I want like obviously that's the brightest part of the room right now I was gonna try and like lay down on the floor and get a picture from above or something like that but I, I don't know if that's gonna be very possible with just me and my tripod but maybe I'll try that first I'm literally using my toe Whoa, that looks so cool. Ooh, it is chilly, let me tell you. Oh, how did I get fucking snow? Oh, it's on my ankle, my bare ankle. Oh my God, it is so much colder outside than I thought it was gonna be. It looked like, I know it snowed, but it just looked so much warmer. Oh, my mom left another. All right, a nice, another little Christmas display. Oh, hi, Ted. What's up? Today we have a blue cupcake. I'm like, I ran across the yard, I'm like panting. Um, pumpkin bread and then more pump peppermint bark. Oh my God, she's so sweet. Do you ever slip your dad's shoes on to go grab something outside and just kind of feel like a little kid again? <laughs> All right, I gotta move the mouse. Today is the 11th. Cute, and then Lala's actually on her way over, so I gotta head back to my house. Hey, bud. You're so cute. Sleeping beauty over there. Hi. Okay, bye-bye. And, <laughs> wait. Oh my God, that just, <laughs> just fucked me up. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know why I'm like the only one in my family that's still interested in moving the mouse and getting little candies. And I don't know, I guess I'm still a kid at heart. No, oh, bye Teddy. I love you. Can't remember if I showed you guys this, but I got my mom this cute little nightlight for her birthday. Um, my mom loves the peanuts and it's awesome because her birthday is mid-November. So a lot of the times I get her like cute little Christmassy things. Oh my God, my hands are like shaking. <laughs> Look how cute the shed looks. It's snowy. Whoa. While I'm waiting for Lala to get here, I'm going to pack that bowl that I was showing you guys earlier that I bought back in like 2012, I wanna say. I'm sorry if you can hear my cats playing in the litter right now. Not playing, but like, some cats just really like to move around, you know? <laughs> Kinda wanna go in the other room where the rainbows are, but the lighting right here is really nice. Also, my other little happy light came in and that one's a little, wait, did I even tell you guys about the happy light? Oh my gosh. So I was looking online because I think one of my friends told me, or maybe even like a follower, someone mentioned the happy lamp, which is just this light that's supposed to be good for just like winter blues, essentially. It says it has like, I don't know. The instructions were basically saying that there was research done showing that exposure to lux, which is like, a level of measuring light intensity and exposure to lux that is anywhere from like 2,500 to 10,000 lux can improve just like winter blues and stuff like that, seasonal depression. Um, so I decided to get one and honestly, I feel like they're gonna be solid for helping me record at night too because they're really, really bright. So I got a little compact one and then I got this one which is actually a lot thinner, but like that shit is bright. So I feel like it can be one of those uh lights that like you almost face it onto the wall so it gives you some like bounce off light so it's a little more natural it's like that is so bright like holy moly but it does kind of look like like earlier when i was talking there was natural light reflecting off of the table and it is kind of like emulating that okay i'm actually gonna have a sesh in the little hammock swing because i do think that's for real this time coming down <laughs> I said like two weeks ago, like, oh, last sesh. I think it was on my Instagram because I was going to put the tree up. But I've really just been procrastinating it because of the cats. It's going to be a nightmare. It really is. Ooh. You probably can't see it from that angle. The smoke and the rainbows. I like this pipe a lot. I feel like with dry pipes, I like when there's like not a lot of space for the smoke to go because otherwise it almost like makes the hit stale and oh my god, I need to show you guys the light. Whoa, that wasn't even that thick of a cloud. Guys, this is Lala's first time meeting Aria. Yeah. They both ran straight to the door when Lala walked in. She's so big already. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's crazy. Hi. Just figuring out how she, <laughs> how supposed to get there. <laughs> so she's like, na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna have that spot to herself for long. That's for sure. Oh, okay. She's so wide. Mm hmm. She's so much lighter. Guys, it happens! I don't know how. We just looked over. She's on there. Oh my god. We did it. Sansa's gonna be so mad. I feel like I've been prepping for this bong rip for like yeah. a half hour. Do it. Do it. Um, oh, I was like, <laughs> where did the lighter go? <laughs> that pipe is the first pipe that I ever bought. That like one? seven years ago. I was like, what, what is that? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Oh, I like the taste of that. Nice. Mm. Nice. This, this is really relaxed, actually. Yeah, good. Mm. I love That's that. Really relaxing. 
Guys, my cats love Lala. <laughs> yes! Funny. It's so funny because Brendan, I was telling her, Brendan's sister came over last night with one of our mutual friends to see the kittens. And Sansa was just kind of like observing. Like she was friendly, saying hi, whatever. But since she knows Lala and is comfortable, she was actually like playing with Arya and yeah. like following you around the kitchen meowing because she wanted to be picked up and loved. <laughs> She's jealous of was holding um. Sansa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, jealous. but Sansa was meowing at you, too, yeah. to get picked up. And then when she picked up Sansa, Arya started meowing at her because she was jealous. Jealous. It's just so cute. Good. I like that they like you. Yay. I love cats. That's why they love me, too. <laughs> they know. <laughs> we should really enjoy it. <laughs> After this boundary. I'm down. <laughs> It's 4.07. It's 4.20. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. 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 What's up? Oh. No. No. It's going to be part two of joints getting clawed. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you do? <laughs> Her jumps are the best. She's definitely not as elegant as Sansa is. <laughs> like, she's a little more clumsy. <laughs> she's gonna get it. She's just. I don't know. Got our little 420 joint. Okay, we're gonna have sesh. Bye. Lala just left, and I think it is time to make buffalo chickpea dip. Very excited. Let me get all the ingredients. First things first, you need two cans of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. These are just mixed matched ones that I had in my pantry. And then you're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese. I honestly prefer getting the whipped because it's a little bit easier to blend it um, in with the rest of the dip. And then you're gonna need, I think, a cup of mozzarella cheese, but I usually put like way more. Half a cup of Frank's Red Hot and half a cup of ranch. I usually do a little bit more of the Frank's Red Hot though. Um, for the chickpeas, you can put them in a food processor and blend them up. You can just like use your hands to kind of do it, which is weird, but like I think that's what I might end up doing. Also, I prefer to drain and wash my peas or chickpeas. I don't know why I called them peas. Beans. Okay, I'll probably correct this on the screen, but I figure I'll say it anyways. I lied. The recipe actually calls for half a cup of cheese. I usually just add over a full cup. Mozzarella cheese. All right, I put my like, I don't know, two thirds of a cup of shredded cheese in there. And now we need half a cup of Frank's Red Hot. It's about half, but I might as well just another like two thirds instead of half. Smells so good. It may, like makes my mouth water when I smell that. And then we're gonna do half a cup of ranch. All right, we got our ranch in there. And I think I'm gonna mix this all up before I add the cream cheese. Last ingredients, the whipped cream cheese. I forgot to preheat the oven, so I'm waiting for that. But once it's preheated, I just put um, more cheese on top and then it'll go in there for like 20 minutes. We are done, I already scooped some into my bowl. I was so excited I forgot to vlog it, but I usually have mine with Tostito scoops. All right, we still gotta pull down some of the branches and fix them, but the hammock is gone, the tree is here, cats are curious. Oh, I need to go get, all my colored lights are in the guest room. So I recorded the video with them. Yeah, I gotta take all of this down. Shit. <laughs> Sansa. Arya's trying to get up there. Sansa's up there. All right, so I have a hand-me-down pre-lit tree and most of the lights didn't work, so I just had to add some more lights to it. And now I'm gonna start with the ornaments. So cute, all of my ornaments are pretty much like sentimental ones. Like my mom made the, 
My mom made this cute little one. This is from my first. The stars falling over. The stars falling over. Oh. It's because the top of that tree sucks. Oh my gosh, here's a bunch more. 98. Oh my god, I definitely have followers that weren't even born when this picture was taken. 98, like, y'all are 21 now, people that were born in 98. Uh, this one was a gift that I never ended up putting a picture in. My old cat Jasmine that looks just like Sansa. Right, and then I had a few that are wrapped up. Cause like this one I made when I was like five years old. You can just barely see it, it says Sasha right there. Alright, let's start hanging these. Alright, I figured we would have a little sesh over here. The cats are, of course, obsessed with the tree. It's terrifying, but it is what it is. I have my little candy cane pipe from Daily High Club, code HIPPIE saves you 15%. And yeah, festive sesh. Ooh, I should try to get my, uh, my thumbnail. Let's see. I go. Okay, <laughs> I think I got a thumbnail. I don't know. Cheers. That hit tasted like black licorice. That was so odd, but I, oh, I have candy canes. Wait, I didn't put candy canes on the tree. Oh, I completely forgot that I bought these when I was at the store the other day. And now I can put them on. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there was someone that tweeted me that bought a couple of the things that I recommended in my last video, and I just wanted to find um, Dr. Vortex. Where is it? They posted. It's the mint chocolate crunch bar and the salt and vinegar almonds. So cool. There's the tweet. Definitely deserves a shout out. <laughs> I always do that. Ooh. Run, Sansa, run. Okay, I do have a few more things that I can probably put up for decorations. So I'm going to go through the little tote bin that you guys are currently resting on and see what I can decorate with. All right, I set up my air filter just because this thing was in the basement for a year, so it's a little dusty. We have, let me turn it off for a sec. We have a kitty over here. She's just been hanging out under the tree for a while. And I don't know where Arya went. I could have sworn she came over here. All right, so I was browsing the filters on Instagram stories and there was a cool sunflower one. So I want to take a little story with it, hitting my sunflower bowl. Then I'm probably going to go to bed. We are ready, I think. The filter's not that cute, but I found a sunflower filter, so this was necessary. Okay, okay, now Sansa's on my lap, which I absolutely love because I try to cherish our cuddle time because Arya just like takes up a lot of the attention, you know? Like when Sansa's on me sometimes, she just like runs over and fucks with Sansa, so then Sansa wants to go do something else. Or like if I'm trying to play with Sansa, Arya will think it's like her turn to play because she's just a kitten, so she doesn't know. So I'm gonna chill here for a little bit and get some cuddle time with my firstborn and I'm gonna end this video off here if you stayed until the end of the video comment down below 
Comment down below, the tree is finally up because the tree is finally up and I'm so happy. When did you put your tree up? Is it up yet? Has anyone not put it up yet? Are you not doing Christmas tree? I wanna know, I'm nosy, tell me. Okay, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. I will actually see you in two days. Stay high, bye.